On the breakfast, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, 130 million Nigerians are poor with multi-dimensional poverty index at 27% in Ondo State and 90% in Sokoto State. We'll have further discussions as we proceed. And also on the breakfast, we'll be talking sports with a sports journalist on the show. Don't forget, we'll also be looking through today's newspapers, analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Many thanks for joining us this beautiful Friday morning on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Bopo. As always, we start off our top trending conversation. Uh, that's usually how we started, with more lineup ahead of on the show. But of course, I know that it might not also be interesting for a lot of Nigerians, especially where we have the game between Nigeria and Portugal. And of course, Nigeria losing badly to Portugal for that uh, friendly. Really sad and unfortunate. I would also like to apologize for bringing the show a little bit behind shadow, and that's due to some technical issues uh, and other concerns beyond our control. But a, a quick look at it on the top trending this morning is that um, a former Aquaibum State resident electoral commissioner uh, that for the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mikey Guinea, has accused some staff of the electoral body of registering underage voters and don't forget that this has been a conversation just yesterday. It was being mentioned and referenced right here on the show about the consents and the pictures that are making it on different platforms on social media. Well, the former INEC uh, rec said that those involved in recent INEC registration process are all staff of the commission. And so it makes it very easy to trace them, call them up for prosecutions. These are culprits. I mean, there's no way... Um, you're going to have that conversation. There's no way we're going to say that these names actually jumped out of the blues and then made it to, um, you know, the register. Someone is responsible for all of this. We need to understand that all of the systems that we have on the structure are operated by human beings, and so there's no way. Now, this is also a conversation that uh, it feels like we haven't really paid attention to, the issue of having underage voters on our register every other time, especially in the nothing part of the country, amongst others. It's usually very strong. And then we see, you know, voter registration, we see pictures and all of that. Very, I mean, children, children on this, how did they get there is the question. I mean, is it that, you know, they were invoked? Was this some sort of clairvoyancy? What sort of manipulation happened? But it, it, it's quite interesting to know that the former uh, you know, uh, INEC rec official or commissioner and rec official is making this statement. And it's now dependent, you know, on the uh, body and the agency to swing into action, investigation. And this persons who are responsible should be brought to book because if you look at the electoral process, I remember vividly that the president, the current administration has been big on saying we're going to deliver a credible election fee and free and fair. But we, we, we can be having all of this infraction and then expect to have a credible you know, elections. So what have we really done about you know, underage voting and how did they get into our registrar? A register every other time. It has been a conversation. It's not the first time. We quickly move on to the next. It's something that we have talked about. I mean, just yesterday, we talked about police brutality, and it happened right here in Lagos. There's also another incident of uh, that happened in the FCT. Uh, Abuja police officer was caught manhandling a female suspect at a station. And so, uh, unfortunately, we're unable to bring you that video. This is what we talk about. All right, so I'm being told that we have the video now. We'll just quickly run that and then continue with the conversation. Stay with us. that you can see that for yourself. It's very 
explicit, it's simple. And it's what we still talk about. If you follow the conversation that all that's been going on, 2020 was a very, very significant year, apart from COVID-19. And what of you, uh, there was also protests by a lot of Nigerians that call it hashtag NSAS. And it talked about police brutality. But I'm still very worried that in 20, you know, after 2020, 2022, we're still here and we're talking about police brutality. We're talking about the fact that uh, those who are saddled with the responsibility of maintaining law and order in the course of discharging their duties are acting irrational. They're acting uh, without a respect for, you know, the fundamental human rights of every individual that it is. And let's not also forget the fact that everyone is innocent until being proven guilty by a court of competence jurisdiction. So what's the issue now? We say in the course of discharging your duty, you have the right to go about your duty as a police officer and whatever officer that it is that you are. But in, in the course of discharging your duty, it is expected that you you act in accordance with the law. It's expected that you act respecting the rights of the other person. It's, it's, it's respected that, you know, we act in a civil manner. And that's what it is. That's very, you know, um, animalistic, if you ask me. I'm sure that the animals would do better, really, if you look at it. It's inhuman. It's totally condemnable. And we constantly ask. What happens with the police? Because if you look at the, that's a police officer right there. And let's not forget that the police itself has a commission. It's called the police commission. You also have within the system. Is it that the police system does not have what it takes to purge itself of all of this impunity, recklessness, and, you know, breaking off the law? What's going on within the system? Is there no, are there no measures, are there no laws in place to ensure that those who are um, acting contrary would be punished or would be made to face the law? What is really going on? How can we constantly, I look, 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 at, look at that. It feels like you're taking a goat to, 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 to be slaughtered. And these days, I'm sure we we'll probably sing lullaby to the goats or even to the chicken when we're taking them to be killed. We can do better than this. And that's it on the top trending. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll be looking at the front pages of the National Daily Space. Stay with us. <laughs>